Okay, so this is an interesting uh, endeavor, period. So I've heard of stouts aging for a long period of times, um, as long as they're kept in the right conditions. I found a little gem, it's actually imported from Japan. Uh, Bayard Beer, so they've been around since 01. The original owners went, just came to America one day. This is from Japan, sorry I didn't say that earlier. Started learning about beer, the beer renaissance, and then started with the fish market when they got a loan from uh, their friends and family. So this is a Dark Sky Imperial style. I only grabbed one, it was a single for like seven bucks. And I just grabbed it because I was you know, in a hurry, it was after work, uh, they're about to stop selling beer. And I just saw that it, it's from 2014 apparently, 090614, so. I cracked it open just to see if it was still good. It smells amazing. So they do serve uh, their beer at cool temperatures, not room to cool temperatures is what it said. And they started with food first, so now that they've been around for a while, they pair beer and food, and I guess it's grown a lot since then, so good for them. And I'm, it was, yeah, I took a little sip, it wasn't bad, but we're gonna take a full look at this. It made a nice little pssst, well, escaping the gas, it's my impression. And yeah, it's so far so good, and this is not even a, the cleanest glass. But everything else seems to be, it's a little flatter probably than when it was first bottled. Is what I'm getting, but it still has a dark, malty sweetness, like the toasty, almost like a quad, very sweet malt. It's a clean toastiness, it's weird. It's like liquid, liquid, it's weird, it's liquidy. Cause I know it's a beer, but it has like a smell of it, which is what's messing me up. So I guess it was more fizzy, it'd be a little more effervescent and it would be a little lighter, but it's definitely a, what is on this glass? That's scaring me. Anyways, uh, I guess there was paper in the dishwasher. Anyways, other than that, it seems pretty good. It's just definitely flat. It's a little sweet from the amount of uh, the malt, and it's just a nice sweet stout. So I don't know if it's because of the aging or whatever. It still held the whatever gases were in it. You don't want oxygen in there, so. The caps do have a, a chemical that once it's wet and then you seal it, it absorbs oxygen and that's supposed to preserve it. So technically this is a well-preserved uh, beer, but it would be more fizzy and got a little bit more going on on the flavor when you get it within 120 days. So about within six months to a year, this is way past that boundary. So I just wanted to try it out because I keep hearing about it and they say the flavors change, especially the richer the stout, the longer it can go. But this is, smells like a definitely rich stout that was definitely there, but then it just chilled out a little bit. So it broke down a little more. So it then it is more body, more, uh, you can feel the, the thicker um, texture, but then it feels a little thin. I guess that's what have been with the bubbles and stuff that would have opened up that flavor. So it just sits almost, almost like black licorice, but it's not quite. There's no sour flavor, nothing else. It's still pretty stout. I mean, honestly, if I probably had a CO2 injector, I could have just put that in there and bump it up a couple levels, but yeah, it doesn't taste crazy, funky, or anything bad. So this is my first time even doing anything like that. I saw a few stouts that were like three years old, but they're the, you know, like the Abyss and all that, the super rich ones. This one was clean, very toasty, malty, caramelly, and then it has that little sweetness because I guess the carbonation's gone. So instead of mixing in with it and agitating it, it's just more present, almost like syrup, but it's not as abundant. It's just definitely present and you can taste it. So that might be the only un unappealing thing, but that's probably because it's not bubbled up. It's just blown away. So. I will look for this and get a fresher one and I'll probably scoop another one and do a side by side, but I just want to throw that out there. So, uh, it's looking like if the rumor's true, you can definitely have a stout sit around for a while. It didn't spoil or anything. It was in a bottle with a cap. So I imagine in a can, it probably would have kept a lot more of, um, the, the beautiful robustness and probably would have been a little more vanilla. Like, so that's what I'm thinking is that vanilla kind of got lost in it because of that. But other than that, drink to that. Crazy. 
to get something that's a few years old. That's intense. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> I post this video if I'm not sick or anything. So if you see it, everything went well. It's just definitely not the best flavor experience. But I'll have one coming up next, which is amazing and it's fresh. So good job. I guess if you admit it's made right, it can at least last. And it's better than having no beer, all right? So other than that, be safe. Don't do this unless I don't recommend it. I'm not going to condone it. And it's to each their own, but I'm not giving permission. So have fun. Hope this is interesting and you learned something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going through it. It's like, all right. Have a good night. Thank you for watching.